What's happening everybody? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the jacking points for a Ram 1500 if you're using the stock jack. So the stock jack in the top pad has this slot in it. That slot is there to accept the jacking tabs in the rear and to slip into a ridge in the lower control arm up front. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So before I slide underneath the truck, here's another shot of the jack. Again, that slot in the top pad of the jack. You're gonna turn the jack clockways to raise it, counterclockways to lower it. All right, so we're underneath the rear of the truck. Here is where you'll find that lower control arm mount and this tab right here. That is the jacking tab that fits into the slot in the top of the stock jack. There's your sway bar mount, lower control arm, jacking tab right there. Okay, so here you can see that tab slotted into the top pad of that jack. Make sure that it is seated all the way and you are good to go to lift. For the rear, that eyelet will probably need to be facing towards the rear. It's the only way you would really have access to this underneath the truck for the hook and the extensions. All right, guys, so the front does not have individual jacking tabs. And just for reference, I am towards the back of the truck right here up front. Where those tabs will slot is right you can see some witness marks right there, right in the back side of that lower control arm. It's going to wrap around that lip on the lower control arm. As a quick reference, here is the owner's manual diagram showing the jack actually facing the front of the truck. When I say the jack facing, I mean the eyelet so you can assemble your extensions and your tire tool. There's not an actual pad there. It's just showing you the general area where to put that jack on the lower control arm. Just wanted to clarify that for you guys. Well, I didn't want to leave the rear one out either. <laughs> There's your rear jacking point. All right, guys, so it's kind of hard to show in the video, but that control arm is kind of curved. So that pad, that slot is going to capture the back of it, but it's going to be at a bit of an angle facing more towards the center of the truck. It's going to be kind of facing like that a little bit. Probably going to want to have the eyelet facing, again, the front of the truck the way it shows in the manual because if that tire's flat, you're going to have prop, you know, tire in the way of actually getting your extensions and the hook in there to actually turn the jack to lift the truck. Just wanted to point that out. Now, also, let's talk about the mechanism because if you made it this far, well, you may not have had the back tire out from underneath the bed yet. This is what that mechanism looks like. So when you're underneath the truck and you remove the cover and you're looking through, you'll see this bell mouth looking right at you. You're gonna turn it what is counterclockwise to lower the thing. And you're gonna turn it clockwise to raise the tire back up or at least to raise the winch back up. You can see a little guy kind of dangling underneath there. One thing I wanted to show you is you see how there's a little square adapter right in there? That is where the female end of your extension will slot in, just like that. You'll feel it make positive contact, and then you'll go through the process of dropping everything down. If, for some reason, if for some reason, your extension just goes in there and spins, and assuming you're not using the wrong end, you're using the female end, if that goes in there and just spins and nothing's happening, you've got yourself a lock inside the actual housing of your winch. Look around the truck, see if you've got the key. Chances are, this won't be where you think you're supposed to find it, which is the rest of your kit. It's gonna be potentially in your glove compartment in an envelope, a little plastic envelope that looks something like this. Check that now. If you're watching this video, check that now. See if you've got one of these locks. They're, they're not factory installed, they're dealer installed. So if you weren't told about the lock and now you're stuck on the side of the road and you think you can't get your spare tire out from underneath it or you think that there's something inherently wrong with this, 
you might actually just be locked out. Try to find the lock. Um, if you don't have your extensions, by the way, a 9 16th long socket and extensions will actually fit that little adapter and will help you lower the thing down in case for whatever reason you don't have the rest of this stuff. So anyway, check for a lock now if you're not stuck on the side of the road watching this. Make sure you don't have one, and if you do, find your lock. The lock, by the way, has a little button on the end, slips in to the female side, and then that would go into your winch to make that thing raise or lower your tire. Hopefully that helps you guys out. We'll catch y'all on the next one. That's a wrap.